In this video, you're going to see me playing with my modified ignition control unit from an early 126. It's been modified to be able to use any ignition coil on Earth, and that proved to be very handy today. A friend of mine with a MB Specialist Workshop has been playing with this uh, 500 SEC, uh, 1985 model I believe it is, and he's had a bit of uh, trouble getting it started over the last several days. Although the K-Jet setup does require some work, um, it's not stopping the car from starting. Let's see what happens when we give this a test with my module. That's correct, it still doesn't start. So let's get some test equipment on the car and see what's going on. So yes, it is actually um, firing that coil. Three. And we can see high voltage being produced by the original coil before and after the distributor, but it still doesn't start. So let's try with my coil. Today was one of those times where the service manual and, to a lesser extent, the fancy test equipment was actually quite useless because the original coil actually tests perfectly when you're measuring the primary and secondary coil uh, resistance. It's perfectly within spec. And when you have the uh, scope attached to the coil wire um, and the wire going to spark plug one, you can actually see high voltage being generated just unfortunately not quite enough um, and when the coil is being activated well that looks okay as well looks basically the same with the original ignition box and my modified one so we can pretty much discount that as being an issue so I'm confident when he receives his new ignition coil this thing should start right up and not be an issue and don't mind that chirping bearing noise that's either the water pump or the alternator um, that's not my problem, I just came to help out with the non-start issue. So, he's got plenty more work to do on this car for the customer. While I was on site, it was interesting to see in person what a USA version bumper looks like on the 126. As an Australian, this is not something you see very often. These shock absorbers for the front and rear bumpers are absolutely enormous and that's what makes that bumper stick out so far. We don't have anything like this on our Australian version cars. Our bumpers actually sit closer to the body and as a result when you use the normal bumper the American style tow hook does not fit behind the uh, cover so that will need to be ground off. There's numerous other cars uh, currently getting worked on here, some quite interesting. This is a 560, a Euro version with a high compression engine. This is a 380, uh, I believe that had loose valve guides in it. Uh, 300 SEL and a 129. And the thing that uh, got me most excited is this 240 GE Department of Defense edition with a rag top and doors. Something you never see as a civilian unless you're lucky enough to buy one on the used car market. This one will be available to purchase soon. Uh, it originally was for the Singaporean Department of Defence. Um, but yeah, once it's been gone through, this will no doubt end up for sale on the local market here in WA. Uh, these things will no doubt go for a pretty penny. This would be quite cool to drive around off-road, uh, or even on the road, with no doors, um, that would be quite awesome. I believe it has like fabric doors uh, with a frame that is similar in construction to the roof here. Um, yeah, so that will be interesting to see when that's up and running. Absolutely nothing luxurious about this interior, it's totally utilitarian. Um, no doubt it's very capable off-road uh, in wartime conditions uh, all around a very robust and awesome vehicle 
I can't imagine it's too quick with the 240D engine. Um, but it's very reliable and starts first go. And uh, of interest, this is what a 124300TE muffler looks like that's absolutely rusted out. It was very easy to fold up and put in the recycling bin, so that's reached end of life. This is just some footage of my modified ignition control module that I use for diagnostics purposes, just bench testing it before I took it out for this adventure, and it proved quite successful indeed, as you would have seen.